Hello there, welcome back to Tabletop Union. I'm Steve, and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Ammo Jack and Dome Runner from Forge World for Necromunda. Um, I've fallen down this Forge World rabbit hole, I guess, so there's going to be more of these. These, I, I really like the, the Ammo Jack model. Dome Runner, uh, take it or leave it, but you know, can't get one with the other. Does not look like it's going to be very many parts. Should be pretty easy to put together. Let me just cut this open. We'll be right back. Okay, so all open. Um, probably managed to cut this a little bit. It's just, you know, the, the front picture and then some build instructions. There's no. Uh, profile cards or anything in here and yeah like ammo jack is what four parts that's gonna be pretty dead easy uh, just clean it up and stick them together don't run there's a few more but I don't foresee any problems either comes with a tactical pipe we just take a quick look at the pieces this is the body of the ammo jack. And yeah, the detail looks nice. Well, a few spots to clean up, but yeah, it looks good quality. That's great. Um, this is his. It's partially come apart, I guess. We got his. What is this? Auto gun? Maybe? I don't think it's a bolt gun, though. It could be. Oh, yeah, actually, it probably is a bolt gun. I don't know. I'll have to look at the rules. Just need to. Oh, need to clean up sort of in there. Yeah, and do more cleanup on this side. Uh, and the head it's looking all right. It's got a cigar. Yep. And this would be the part that came off, I guess. Yeah. This is arm holding the crate of ammo, which is, you know, what he's here for. Help you with those ammo rolls. Then we'll do the. Oh wait, almost forgot. The backpack. It's a pretty cool backpack. It's got like the, the big like. Almost looks like a power mall, power hammer. But I have a feeling it's probably just a two-handed hammer. I don't think you'd get anything that swanky. Uh, and just belts of ammo everywhere, and chains, and pouches, and it looks like a bedroll at the bottom. That's some good backpack right there. Yeah. Now we can move on to the Dome Runner. So yeah. It's a... Uh, Mm-hmm. Gonna be some stuff I have to clean up and cl clip off. I don't have much to say about this. I think it might be uh, a woman. So that's cool. And here we've got, well, there's the tactical pipe. We got the stub pistol with bayonet because, of course, and then the fighting knife on the other hand. And then here we have the other leg and boot. The tread on that. Huh. And the head. 
Couldn't really tell from this that it's a woman, but I'm pretty sure it is. And then a little, little rat buddy. Call him uh, Brown Jenkins. And he'll just hang off the back of her belt somewhere here, I think. Not a little, fun little snack for later, right? Anyways. And of course, goes with two bases. Exactly the same. There are different Necromunda bases, but they all basically look the same. And I'm fine with that. I like them. I won't be gluing them on there right away. I'll be putting them on just a standard base for painting and paint these separately. So yeah, there you go. Pretty quick, simple one. Um, I'll be back in a moment with the models assembled. All right, so back, I've got them assembled. Uh, first we'll look at the ammo jack. I was pretty happy with this guy. He went together pretty easily. Uh, no real problems. The trickiest part was just trying to get the angle of his gun right so that the way the, the strap hung looked correct. Um, yeah. Good detail. I, I glued the backpack on since it is a pretty solid mass that covers a lot and there's not a lot of, I mean there are some, but there's not a lot of cracks to access um, that it's blocking. So felt yeah, pretty, pretty good about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with him. And then we'll look at the Dome Runner. Now this one was a bit more of a problem. Uh, trying to get the foot on this pipe and glued down onto the base was a headache because there's no real spot where it says the pipe is supposed to attach to the foot. It's just sort of, you know, it just sits there. And so I tried gluing the pipe to the foot at first and then gluing it down, but then the pipe would like sort of collapse so that it would lift off the base. So then I eventually just glued the pipe to the base first. I looked at the, uh, the Forge World site at the the 360 degree view and uh, yeah just tried to get the angle and position of the pipe right from the from that and it worked out all right um, otherwise the neck on her head was like a bit of a mess trying to clean it up but I did all right, and the join where the knee goes in here on the thigh was also a bit of a mess, and I think I maybe cleaned out a little too much around the top where the knee is, because there's a little gap there. I can fix that. Um, the rat went on pretty pretty easily, like, yeah. I like the, it's got a good sense of sort of movement to it. Like from this side, you see the, she's like leaping up onto the pipe and ready to push off and the rat's like trailing behind her. And yeah, I like it. And the rat's got two tails. So it's an extra, it's an extra special savory snack. Yeah, both of these were uh, pretty good. Um, they're one of the more reasonably priced kits for Necromunda for Forge World. So, yeah, I think they're worth it. I mean, 
you're going to use an ammo jack a lot. The dome runner, um, probably less so. But it, you can also just like use her as like hive scum or something like that. Put her in like an outcast gang or maybe even like some kind of Escher wild runner, maybe. I don't know. The models themselves look pretty good. All right, well, hope this gives you a good idea of what they're like. Um, just wanted to help give some uh, insight and some advice on building them. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.